All right, let's turn now to Peyton because like we've been saying, it's a busy weekend, a full weekend for a lot of people and we're getting some good weather. We are, but guys, did yes? you know oh. September 1st is technically the start of <gasps> meteorological fall? No. So if you're anything like myself, you've put out all of your pumpkins. You have? Have you really, candles. Peyton? Of course I have. I take my Christmas tree out like right after Halloween. I That's remember that from kind of last year. <laughs> yep, thank exactly. you. That is the kind of person <laughs> I am. So welcome to maybe your idea of starting to pivot with the seasons outdoors, but we're full on summer as we go through the weekend. We do have earlier sunsets upon us. This is actually the last sunset of the evening that will be above uh, eight o'clock or right at eight o'clock until we hit April 8th. Now there's a couple things tied to April 8th. Not only do we have that solar eclipse that is supposed to happen on April 8th, but we also have the home opener. So there's a lot to be joyful for as we approach next April, but we'll savor today as we uh, get through it all. Now I've actually turned on visible satellite imagery for you to show you where the cloud cover has been today because it really has not been across Northeast Ohio. There's a little bit of a complex, a storm system down through the deep south right now and back off to the north and west. We're sitting pretty and dominated right now by high pressure and that gives you the blue skies, the sunshine, what you want to see as you go into a good old uh, Labor Day weekend. Right now we are still close to about 80 degrees for a lot of you. If you're not close to 80 or in the mid 70s, but the warmth is back out to the west yet again. We've got heat that is going to push its way further to the east and we get a taste as we go forward. This evening though, it's going to be beautiful. It's comfortable. If you want to open the windows, it's another evening to do that, but there's not a lot of a breeze at least in place right now, so you might notice the change there. It's not actually making its way into your home. Temperatures will fade back into the 60s. If you love to stargaze, this is a night for you. If you didn't catch the full moon a couple nights ago, it still basically appears full. And a graphic I put together with the Thunderbirds too as we go through the air show this weekend. Mid 80s for the day tomorrow. We will see more sunshine through the morning than the second half of the day. And we've got plenty for Sunday as well as Monday. But the catch with Sunday and Monday is that humid humidity is really going to start to settle into place. We will have an abundance of sunshine, whether that is from tomorrow, to Sunday to Monday, whatever you fix your plans to. It's just the humidity is going to creep up and it's really going to impact potentially your plans. So you're going to want to have a plan in place to maybe beat the heat. Maybe that's taking yourself over, maybe a little closer to Lake Erie. Maybe you want to get in or on when it comes to maybe boating. I know a lot of you like to watch the air show from your own boat. If you have the luxury or maybe a call up a friend who has them and bother them to maybe make uh, even more of that friendship last a little longer through the weekend. We're going to have uh, wave heights at about one to two feet, so nothing too crazy there. Our wind, though, maybe south, southwest, five to 15 knots as we go through your Saturday. Things don't look to crazily change as we go forward in time throughout the weekend when it comes to your boating forecast. The things look pretty easy peasy and our temperatures are starting to fade when it comes to Lake Erie's overall temperature. It's in the low 70s right now as opposed to a couple weeks ago when it was in the mid 70s. I've zoomed you ahead and big picture wise in your National Zymart forecast for you. Our next chance for rain it's not this weekend. We have to wait until we hit the middle of this upcoming week. We get a frontal system to develop. This one is still pinpointing its exact arrival. That could potentially be later in the day on Wednesday as it looks right now. It could be Thursday, but we keep the idea of some scattered wet weather around for the day on Thursday. And then as we approach Friday, things want to linger and then we start to improve as we head through the next part of uh, next weekend. So I know it's not a holiday next weekend, but things will start to kind of fade back into that kind of fall feel, at least a little bit more on the seasonable side as we hit Friday, next Friday that is, because we've got plenty of summer to still deal with as we go from Sunday into Monday into Tuesday. Check out these near 90 degree temperatures. Remember, we've only had a couple at Cleveland Hopkins so far this year. In your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, we come close not just once, not just twice, not just three times, but the potential of four 90 degree days could happen across the area. We'll continue to keep you posted, but of course, Labor Day itself, few clouds around, the humidity will be noticeable, and we're close to 90 degrees. Laura, I think I remember you saying your family's in town, so I don't think they brought um, that Boston weather to no. Northeast Ohio, but maybe they're in for it, are they? Yeah, I think so. You know what? It's um, last year, because they were here this the same weekend last mm -hmm. year, and it was raining. Oh. So I am happy with the sun. Me too. And now we can finally see the air show. Perfect. It's going to be great. So win -win. thank you. Thank you. Win-win. I don't care about 90. <laughs>